Hello, welcome to this next uh, Marvelous Designer tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, it's going to be quite a quick one. We're going to have a look at the trace tool. Now, I've made this uh, dress. I've been watching Sharp and um, the old TV series, um, and you know, the fashion in it's amazing. So, I've made this, I think it's a Regency style dress, um, and I want to put a little bit of trim around this collar. Now, I could draw out some patterns and do lots of sewing. Uh, there's always more than one way to do things uh, but I thought the trace tool would do me some good here so the trace tool uh, will make a pattern out of intersecting lines so what I need to do first uh, is with the pattern tool so I need to add some lines that I can intersect so I've got to select around this neck uh, line here and I'll offset as internal line and I'll make it an inch. Um, I've updated my preferences to use inches instead of millimeters because it makes more sense to my brain. Uh, you may have millimeters here. Uh, so if I click OK, and then I'll do the same for the back. Whoops, need to select them both. There we go, so offset is internal line. That didn't work for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I had that happen earlier I did it again it was fine yeah there we go see very strange okay so now you might think here well what can I do because you know I could cut this make a copy of the pattern um, and you know layer it over but I don't really want to cut it so the trace tool will come in handy now the trace tool is under our uh, general tools here so it's trace at the bottom here or the, the I hotkey and all I need to do is select all of the lines that form the pattern that I want doesn't matter if they overlap a little bit uh, as long as they are closed and will form a pattern so then I can right click on it and trace as pattern and then move my mouse and there it is and as you can see I've got one floating here in space so we'll do the same on the front now this line's got a lot of curve points in it uh, so I'm double clicking that line to select it and then I'll select the other ones around it uh, if I select the other ones around it then I can't double click this one uh, so double click that one first so then right click trace as pattern and then I'll just move it off a little bit okay so now i need to sew it back up again and that's simple uh, so just with the uh, free sewing tool i'm going to do this inner u piece here to this inner u piece here and the same on the back there we go and now what i can do is select the pattern in the 3d view and right click and superimpose over and that will pop it over the top of uh, the, uh, the dress according to the sewing lines that I've given it now if you don't give any sewing lines you won't you know won't do anything uh, it uses the sewing lines to orient itself so select the pattern right click superimpose there we go superimpose over rather now just to make life a little easier I'm going to set this pattern level to one so it's above and there's no confusion and then I can press space and it will sim now it's going to curl up a bit in places um, but that's okay that's kind of the style of the time I believe I need to sum up the uh, ends of the pattern so from there to Oops, let's move this out of the way, this pattern, so it's not getting confused. There we go. So from there to there, and from there to there. There we go. And I'll let that sim a little bit. Well, sim enough to, uh, you know, tighten up. Come on, when you're ready. There we go okay so now if this is curling up too much for you uh, then we can relax it a little bit so if I select 
the two uh, pieces we just created I can make them a little bit larger by using the shrinkage weft and shrinkage warp um, except this will be more of a growage because I'm gonna use numbers over a hundred so this is a percentage essentially so I want it to be a hundred and five percent of its original size and that will relax it it will grow a bit it will uh, add in some uh, you know some more wrinkles if I increase say 110 it will do it a little bit more and perhaps I should really overclock it and oops, then you'll get a good idea what's going on instead of me being subtle there we go that's me being less subtle there we go so depending upon the style depending upon what you, what you want you might want to use a high number there or a, a lower number I think I prefer a lower number I'm going to go 125 it's getting a little bit too flouncy for me there we go and I'm just going to check the pattern uh, a particle distance so I'm going to reduce that to 10 which is the same as the rest of the pattern and that should uh, become a bit smoother some of these big jagged kind of uh, folds and things in it will smooth out and you know become a little bit more defined so there we go that's the trace tool uh, I hope you found that useful and I'll talk to you again in another video just one thing before I uh, sign off properly um, I just wanted to note that uh, we have one step to do these two pieces um, are not consistent with the normals of the rest of the dress so where they join together there's going to be some weirdness going on especially if you take it out of MD so what I like to do here is with those two pieces selected uh, you can tell uh, I'm in uh, the single uh, just the textured surface uh, view at the moment and this black end a uh, black side here is the back face of the normal and you'll see it's opposite to the dress I'm attaching to so all I'm going to do is right click and then flip the normal and now it's consistent you see it's flowing and it's joining and you know the textured side is facing in the same way uh, as the the rest of the pattern um, yeah so it's, it's it might be a minor point but I think it's worth adding uh, so sorry about that that's it <laughs> I'll talk to you in another video